Welcome back to our special coverage of the State of the Union tonight and also the developing situation in Ukraine. We wanted to know what you thought at home in terms of what the president had to say tonight and what also you thought ahead of the State of the Union in terms of your confidence in the president. How did he do tonight? I want to welcome in Scott Tranter. He's with Decision Desk HQ. He is joining us live from the nation's capital. Scott, uh, the dwindling confidence in the president going into tonight's speech was right around 57 or so percent um, disapproving of his performance as president. He had his work cut out for him, clearly. Yeah, and it combined with the fact that in the News Nation poll, 46 percent thought that he was unfit. And then when you combine that with the low approval ratings of Vice President Harris, um, tall order indeed, especially coming off of high inflation and what looks to be a prolonged war in Europe. Well, and he had a lot to balance in terms of the developing situation in Ukraine. The question many wanted to know going into this speech was what was on the minds of Americans? What were the key issues that they wanted the president to hit on tonight? By far, inflation. That is the number one issue coming out of our poll. Um, a distant second is COVID. So those, those lifting of COVID uh, restrictions around the country and that lessening certainly helped his approval rating around that. But number one thing on people's minds is inflation. What they pay for, for gas, what they pay for milk, and for, quite frankly, what they're paying for cars and homes. 88% saying that they are very concerned about inflation. COVID was also something that the president uh, addressed uh, quite a bit tonight, as he should, going into year three of the pandemic. What did Americans say in terms of their concerns about where we are? So more of them in the in the News Nation poll, more of them, about 10 percent more since when we last looked at it a month ago, have a positive outlook on COVID, um, you know, waning and we're going to be back to normal this year. So that's a positive outlook and that's something they're going to attribute to the president. Um, but there's still a solid 20 percent that are pretty worried about it going forward. And that's a, for varying reasons, whether it be, you know, different new variants coming out or, you know, prolonged masking or, or, or issues with the vaccines and things like that. But certainly an up, uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, improving numbers for the president on COVID. Scott, some, some major news coming out of Texas tonight. Fill us in. Scott, Scott can you hear us? And I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I said we have some major news in terms of uh, the gubernatorial race in Texas tonight. Ah. Well, yes. Yeah, so, it, 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 Beto O'Rourke um, won the Democratic gubernatorial uh, primary there. So he's going to face off against Governor um, uh, Greg Abbott, which should be a pretty big race, especially considering that uh, um, Beto O'Rourke came pretty close to unseating Senator Cruz. The other big one is Ken Paxton at the AG level. He's going to advance to a runoff, and he was, um, you know, he was supported by the president. So that's or the former President Trump. And so that would be a big one to watch to see if uh, the president's uh, endorsement is going to hold through.